welcome to Truth That Transform with your host, Pastor Dorothy L. Bell, a program that is geared to give you the truth of the Word of God. Today, our topic is going to be very short, but it's a powerful subject. And the subject is the fire of God. Woo, the fire of God. Oh, there's so many ways I could teach this lesson, but I'm going to teach it as the Holy Spirit has given me just for a few moments. So pay attention and listen, okay? We know that fire can be used for many things in the natural. It can be used for fuel. It can be used to cook. It can be used to get rid of things and burn it up that way. Um, but I want to talk to you about five minutes on the fire of God spiritually. Okay, remember we are spiritual beings. And I can remember like um, the children of Israel when they were going through the wilderness, figuratively, God used fire as a guide to light them at night. Wow. He used fire to guide them in the night. And the fire of God is something that can consume you. It can consume you. Remember Moses at the burning bush? That fire was burning, but it didn't consume him. So the fire of God is so awesome. If you let him do what he wants to do in you. And I'm just going to do some comparisons right now for a few moments. What do I mean by the fire of God? I mean that his fire does just what I said. It consumes. The fire of God burns out fear. You have fear. The last broadcast I talked about fear. You cannot let fear cause you to not do what God has called. Let the fire of God, the fire of the Holy Ghost, burn out that fear that's in you. And let him, hallelujah, instead of fear, what we gonna let him do? We are gonna let God ignite our faith. So we gonna let him burn our fear and let him ignite our faith because faith is the only thing that pleased God. He said, it is impossible to please me without faith. So let God ignite that faith that's in you. You got a little seed, mustard seed? Let him ignite that, that will grow into a big, beautiful plant that your faith will be unshakable that you will not be moved in your faith. That's what the fire of Almighty God does. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm talking about the fire of God. It burns out fear. Mm -hmm. And then it burns out iniquity. That sin that has so easily beset all of us at one time. But the fire of God burns that out. Burns it out. And in place, in the place of him burning out that sin and forgiving you of your iniquities, he ignites integrity in your walk with him. Yes, he gives you the fire to walk in integrity, to walk upright before him, to be righteous in all your doings, to make things right that were wrong as he has forgiven you. Like I said, of all your sins, let him burn out that sin. Let him take it out by his fire and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you realize we have a blood covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ? And the Holy Ghost fire of God, hallelujah, helps us to maintain the spiritual walk and the spiritual way that we are supposed to live. Let the fire of Almighty God do what it does. It can consume anything that's not like God. You know what happened over in, mm, Kings, when God told him, put it down. Water, everything. And the fire of heaven came down and licked it all up. So God is a consuming fire. Just know that. So you don't want to get on his wrong side. Let him ignite the fire of faith, integrity, and in your walk with him today. Then the fire of God will burn out Rebellion. Woo. <laughs> How many people need 
for God to burn out rebellion. This whole generation that we're living in there is so rebellious, wicked, evil, stubborn, don't want nothing to do with God. But God can really burn that rebellion out. Yes, he can with his fire. And guess what he's going to replace that rebellion with? Think about it. He's going to ignite your fire with righteousness. That's what he's going to do. What is righteousness? Just doing what's right. The fire of God will cause you to do what's right. This is just a little synopsis of the fire of God. I have so much on it, but I don't have time to really go in depth because it will take too much time. I just want to touch on it and let you know that God's fire is consuming. It will burn out and it will, it will ignite. And so one of the other things that the fire of God burns out is evil. We talked about iniquity, which is, but it burn out evil. Oh, there's so many people so evil. But if the spirit of God gets on in the fire of God, he can burn that out and, and give them the, and the initiative and the way he ignites power. He can empower you with all good things. Yes, he can. So he'll burn out fear. He'll burn out iniquity. He'll burn out rebellion. He'll burn out evil. And he'll replace him with all the things that's good. I put it like that. He'll ignite your fire and make it good. Yes, he will. So he's an all-consuming fire, okay? So those are supernatural things that God will do. And then I want to read one scripture. That's all. And then we'll be through with our lesson for today on what the fire. And it's so funny because I think uh, that our flyers for Heart Ministry Network is going to be having fire coming all out around us because we are walking, hallelujah, in the presence of God, the fire that ignites our passion, ignites, <laughs> just ignites those things that were supposed to ignite in us, the fruit of the spirit and all the good things from God. So turn with me to Isaiah chapter 43. And we're going to read verse one and two, talking about the fire of God. Remember, he's an all-consuming fire. Yes, he's an all-consuming fire. But now, thus saith the Lord that created you and I, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. There goes that word again, fear. God don't want us to fear. He wants us to be united with faith. Hallelujah. Because he can burn out that fear that Satan tried to put on all of us. No, we're walking in faith and by faith. So fear not, for I have redeemed thee. The Lord our God has redeemed us through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Aren't you happy today that you've been redeemed? If anybody asks you who you are, you can tell them I've been redeemed. Oh, bless his name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, I have been redeemed. And I have called thee, and I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. God has called us by name. We have new names, but right now he's calling us. So he calls us by name. Verse two, it says, when thou passest through the waters, God said, listen, when you pass through the waters, it will be, I will be with you. I'm sorry. He said, I will be with you. So there's nothing that you and I go through that God won't be with us if we allow him to. But he'll be with us whether we want him or not, because that's the kind of God that we serve. He said, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. I don't care how much the river's flowing. The river's flowing. But it's not going to drown. You're not going to drown. God's got you. And I love that. I say it every day. Thank you, God, for having me. You got me no matter what I go through. And that fire of yours, who just ignite my passion. You know, he wants me to be fervent for him. The fire of God, he wants you to be fervent. He wants us to tell people, be on fire for him. Literally, not literally, figuratively, spiritually, we have to be on fire for the Lord. And he said, though you go through those rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. I want to leave you with that. The fire of God. He said, listen, 
you may go through the fire. <laughs> and a lot of us go through the fire, but it definitely will not consume us. Why? He gave us the answer right here. <laughs> he said, you're not going to be burned. I'm not going to, you ain't going to be burned. And there will never be a flame. No flame shall kindle upon thee. So today I want you to be in courage. Briefly, like I said, let the fire of God do what it does. Figuratively, spiritually, and supernaturally. Remember, he used fire to guide the children of Israel through the wilderness at night. He used the fire when he talked with Moses at the burning bush and it did not consume him. He used fire to he'll burn out your fear and ignite your faith. He'll burn out your iniquity of sin, wickedness, and torment and give you integrity. He'll ignite your integrity that you can walk before him, praising and lifting up his name. He will give you, he'll burn out that rebellious spirit that you have. Yeah, he will. And he'll replace it as he ignite righteousness in you. He said, those walk upright before him. He would not withhold any good thing. So don't let the Lord down by not walking upright before him. And then depart from evil. Let God burn out all the evil thoughts that goes in your mind. That you, Those fiery dots. He said they wouldn't, they would not prosper against you. Let him empower you as the fire of God through the power of the Holy Ghost do his job. So. I thank you for listening to this little short lesson on the fire of God. And maybe another time I can do a part one and a part two, because there's a lot to the fire of God. But I just wanted to touch on it briefly today. So I pray that it encourage you and bless you. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to watch us on Instagram, to watch us on Roku TV, over Heart Ministry Network, and just support us, support this ministry because we're doing a great work. The word of the Lord is being preached and teach to transform the lives of people. So I hope that you got blessed today. Uh, and remember, be dedicated to God. Let that fire cause your dedication to rise up. Hallelujah. And let the fire of God cause you to be delighted in him and be directed by him and be diligent for him. And always be a light, that light, that fire to shine through so people can know that you belong to God as an epistle of Christ. People might not read the Bible, but they'll read you. So always allow the light of God to shine through. Let that fire burn. Have that passion that we talked about on a previous broadcast. Be stirred up and motivated by the living God. So remember, this is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell saying, please let God be God and every man be a liar and let your light shine that men may see your good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Have a wonderful day, a blessed day, a blessed week. And until next time, may the Lord's blessing be upon you and may you be stirred up in your spirit to let the fire of God ignite you to do his work. 